Let's do My Pure Land, which has just been announced as the UK entry for the foreign uh, language uh, film Oscar. Uh, last year, I think it was Under the Shadow. Directed by uh, Simon Masood and uh, shot in rural Pakistan, produced by Bel- Bill Kenwright. So Bill Kenwright's... Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, story of a group of women, a mother, two daughters, defending their homestead from a gang of armed men led by the daughter's unscrupulous uncle. And the men are trying to take possession of this homestead. The women are defending the homestead, which they insist they have the papers to, they have the rights to. The police are entirely on the side of the invaders. And um, as the, the sort of, as the siege plays out, the film flashes backward and forward to fill out the backstory, to give us context of the characters, to explain where they came from and how they, they got to here. And it's an interesting film. It kind of, attempts to balance two things which is on the one hand there is the it's a, it's balancing between sort of art house and action suspense story it does pull off the balance quite well it's like a socio-political backdrop with a siege of trenches farm narrative very well played i have to say by the ensemble cast and um and it's shot by this guy Hader Zafa. interesting thing about Hader Zafa. i don't know whether you remember this but when um uh, there was a Danny Dyer film that came out some while ago called Vendetta. Called what? Vendetta. Oh, Vendetta. Yeah. And it's terrible. And I said, but you know, the thing about it is, it is a terrible film, but it is really well shot. This I, the, I, the cinematographer, this guy called Hezaf, and I, you know, I think he's, he's, he's clearly got something because he really sort of brings something to the film um, that gives it a gloss, which, you know, which belies its, its very low budget origins. And he's done a whole load of those kind of movies. And now he's ended up uh, doing this. I think he's also directed a film. And he's a really, really terrific cinematographer. And he's got a real way of capturing... Um, and I was reminded, although it'd be only me who's reminded, I was reminded of watching those early straight-to-video erotic thrillers made by Greg Dark that were shot by Wally Pfister. I'm going, you can say what you like about these films. Whoever this Wally Pfister guy is, he really knows how to shoot. And I feel the same way about uh, Hey Zephyr.